We'll start with, um, well, Chris Conacher from ComputerAudioFile.com. Chris. It's John said. I'm Chris Conacher from Computer Audio File. And he kind of stole my thunder about being so excited about this stuff. Um, it's just very cool. I've never been more excited about high-end audio, but I'm only 33, so, you know, so be it. Um, I want to talk about the importance of ripping audio from CDs in terms of um, kind of like archiving data. When you're thinking, thinking about ripping your CDs to a computer, and it, you need to think about it as a whole, like come up with a strategy instead of just start throwing them in there, ripping to whatever formats the latest and greatest. Um, think about it kind of like a historian documenting um, a CD, like a slice of time um, for, say, future generations, because really that's going to end up being you in three months when your hard drive dies. So um, <laughs> the when you when you rip it, of course, you want to rip exactly what's on the CD. I mean, you wouldn't like Google scanning books and getting them on the internet. You wouldn't scan the pages in yellow. You know, if you want the real book, you want the real book. So CDs. Some people are trying to rip to higher bit rates than CDs. Um, and to me, you know, just try to document the CD as a historian again. So doing that um, is the 1644 one rip with error correction and secure rips. Um, and secure rips are like DB Power Amp, the program is going to compare the rip to what everyone else is getting online. Um, so you'll know, did I get a rip good? Um, and then it comes down to the format, what format to rip in. It's kind of, it's a, it's probably, it's a really serious question.